for joining us. I'm Hunter Hoagland. Just this week, a 16-year-old was shot and killed here in Nashville, and we have also just learned another 16-year-old was arrested today for a separate deadly shooting last month. Our Kelsey Gibbs talked to one Nashville mother now desperate to make a change after losing her own daughter to gun violence. She was an outstanding basketball player in the community, a great student at Hillsborough High School. Looking back at photos brings Amber Posey a lot of joy. It's because these are pictures of her daughter, Ashanti. The teen enjoyed volunteering and loved art and those close to her. She gave back. Even at 17, she helped the homeless, which is something that we do now with the ACE Foundation to keep her name alive. On April 9, 2020, her life changed forever. She asked me to leave her ho our home so she could run an errand. And she was gone nine minutes and 37 seconds and shot at over 27 times uh, right off the exit of White Street Pike. Through her grief, Amber says she's been fighting to end gun violence. I hate to say it took my child to be taken for me to become an advocate, but it's not anything that I ever turned a blind eye to. But unfortunately, youth violence in Nashville hasn't ended since Ashanti's death. This week, a 16-year-old was shot and killed in a shootout on Monday night. We also learned this week in a separate shooting, a 16-year-old is being charged with criminal homicide from a shooting last month. This comes after two teens were shot and killed back in February in a Nashville school parking lot. Police say the gunmen are 18 and 17 years old. You know, as much progress as I feel like I make when I see in the news that another child has been taken by gun violence, it sets me back four years. In a recent state report, one in four deaths among those ages 1 to 17 were due to gunfire. Amber is fighting to change this data for the better in honor of her daughter and other victims. I wanted to continue that because she's not here to do it anymore. Amber is calling on elected officials to stop passing laws making gun access easy for children, but rather invest more in community efforts to put an end to gun violence. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Just so young and so heartbreaking. Kelsey, thank you. Ashanti's murder is still unsolved. If you know anything that can help, make sure to call Metro Police.